Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to build a really simple disc sander that you can attach to your drill press and build it really cheap. So this is a right angle drill adapter. You turn this shaft and that one turns. I got this off of Amazon for about 20 bucks and this is the main component of what we're going to need today to turn our drill press into a disc sander. Whenever I'm marking on a circle with a compass, I also like to give myself a little divot. That way I know when I push down, it's going to stay right in that divot. Just a simple trick to keep things easy. I'm put it close to the outside there. I'm, going, I'm shooting for about a uh, six and a half inch circle here. And then we'll take it over to the bandsaw. Next, I'm just going to drill a 3 8 hole all the way through this. I'm using a drill press because I want to keep the line and the hole as straight as possible. You could definitely do this with a, a hand drill and a jig. So I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned it on a video before, but in my workbench, there's always a random hole somewhere and I use that for operations like this. I'm going to use my small hammer to So that lay get a nice layout of where I need to go right, So back over at the drill press, I'm going to select a bit That will just fit inside of there and it looks like my half inch bit is the one I'm going with So that's just removed a lot of that material in there. Now I can take my hammer and push it in the rest of the way and it'll be nice and flat or below this surface just a little bit. But before I do that, I need to mix up some epoxy. And probably the most important part of this is making sure you have the shaft as straight up and down as possible. So while this thing is drying, I'm going to finish up the rest of this. Now, what I've got is a piece of ply that's just a little bit bigger than the diameter of the wheel itself. And I want to lift it off what's going to be the bottom a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and trace around this right about to the center mark on each side. So I know this is the center line and this is where I want the top of the bed that I'm going to sit material to use to go into the center. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to put a half inch bed on top of this. So if I come down half an inch, that's how tall I need the sides to be. So I know that's my measurement. All right, so I want this to be pretty parallel to the bottom of the sander. So I've laid the back down a flat on my bench and I'm gonna add these side pieces. Now I know these pieces are pretty well close to 90 because I checked my miter gauge earlier. I've added a little glue and I'm just gonna attack two brad nails, 18 gauge brad nails on each side to hold it in place. Now that's really probably enough for this application since I'm not gonna be putting a lot of stress or torque on this. Next up, I wanna add a base to this. And that's going to have a little extra side on both sides so I can either screw it to my wooden uh, drill press table or if you don't have one, you could clamp it down to your drill press table. And that's just going to give me an idea where I need to put my glue down at. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue. Not a lot, just enough to kind of hold it in place. And then set this on. And I've already cut this for the bed. This is, will eventually be the bed of this disc sander. So I'm going to put that on there and then add a little weight to kind of uh, just clamp that down and give it a few minutes to tack up. I've let this set for about five minutes, not very long, and that's enough for the glue to tack up. So I can flip this over, and then I can find where the pieces are, just mark myself a line on each side, 
and I can run a couple screws in to help hold this thing down when I have it clamped to my drill press. I'm gonna use inch and a quarter spac screws. Uh, I typically, if you watch my videos, you know that I use almost exclusively spac screws and I like these a lot. A lot of times in places like this where it's not close to the edge, I don't even have to pre-drill a hole, I can just run them right in. Anything that cuts down on a, on a build time is, in my opinion, a good thing. On the sides, I probably should have pre-drilled those, but since we're already in the mood. All right, so on the back side, I don't have the proper size bolt, so I've got a little smooth shaft here and I want to tighten this all down. So I put a couple of washers on that side. I'm gonna use a half inch nut over the top of the bolt and then I'm gonna use the proper size nut over the top of that. Wanna make sure that it moves fairly freely and I'll add a second and then just jam those two together so they don't loosen or tighten up. Now of course if you have a regular steel bed you'll have to put a bigger bed underneath this and clamp it down but since I have my wood one I'll just screw it down. Now before I put the sanding disc on this, I want to balance it a little bit. I'm going to shave off the sides with this chisel and I'm going to smooth out the face of it. Then I can put the bed on, I can attach the sanding pad and put the bed on and we can change the speed of the drill press with the pulley system to get a little higher RPM and we'll be ready to go. That about wraps this build up. Now you could definitely build it a little bit beefier and add some bearings instead of just going metal on wood. That would make it last a lot longer. And if you want to run it for long periods of time, bearings are probably the best way to go. Now just steel on wood works and it will work fine if I'm running it in short periods of time for short lengths of time, but it's going to wear out eventually. So bearings, definitely a good option. If you want to build something like this, that's going to last a long time. It's a super simple build. It can be done in an afternoon. I really hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thank you for watching today's video. I want to share with you guys something new I'm doing on my channel that I'm calling Subscribeathon, and it's a way for me to share with you some of the channels that I'm watching and help some of the newer creators that are starting out on YouTube that are really putting out really great content to grow their channels. As you all know, YouTube's getting larger and larger and it's getting harder and harder to grow channels. So I want to share some of those guys that I'm watching, guys and gals that I'm watching, and um, make it interesting for you. So uh, the rabbit's involved on this one. Hear me out. Uh, I'm going to pick three creators every time, uh, every month about this time of the month, I'm going to pick three creators that I'm watching and I'm going to share them with you. And then I'm going to send the rabbit to one of those creators. And when you guys find the rabbit in one of their videos, say within the next month or so, comment on their video, I found it. That's all you have to do. And the first person that comments on their video, I found it. I will send them a $100 Amazon gift card just for being a cool sport and playing along. So the three channels I'm watching are first off, Trust in Timber. Trust in Timber makes phenomenal videos. Once you go and check this guy out, I'm telling you, it's off the chain. Um, links for all these guys are going to be in the description box below so you can go check them out. The second person I'm watching a lot is Von Thompson. Now he does some really, really crazy builds. He's actually converted a van, like a bus into a living space. He does a lot of tiny home type projects and he does some really neat stuff. Now the third person I wanna talk about is a beginner and her name is Jessie Ueda or I Jessup Make Things. 
She's doing some really fun projects that are just, you know, really friendly, easy to get into for people who are just starting out. They don't require a lot of tools. And it's really cool to see her learning as she's going along. So these are the three channels that I'm watching. The links are in the description box below. Look for the rabbit and say, I found it. And you'll get your $100 Amazon gift card. Thank you so much for watching today. And thank you for being part of a really amazing community and helping it grow and get stronger. We'll talk to you guys very soon with more cool jigs, fun projects, and wild whatever. See you then.